So I'm going to click on Start and then select Survey Pro. This then starts the application. No, we don't want to open the last project. We want to open a new project. We're going to give it a name. Demo, Passive Survey, and select Next. We can import a floor plan and select the, the floor plan dimensions. We want it to be an open office space and we're going to leave the defaults for the power. Select OK. We can now see that the floor plan has been brought in. Over here we can see I can choose active or passive survey. We want to do a passive survey and we're going to do it for Avril's network. I've placed the access point in the corner and I now press go. And here I am in the corner where my access point is and I click on my little man to take the first measurement. I then begin to walk. When I get to the corner and have to change directions, I click and you can see that it's captured the signal strength as I've been walking. I continue to walk to, and I want to cover each corner of each area. So I can continue to do this and the air magnet survey tool is continuing to capture my measurements. You can see by the shading the signal strength and you can start to see where it starts to go into the shades of yellow is my signal is getting weaker and potentially I will not have coverage from that access point. Now you always want to walk a little bit beyond the area where you have coverage. On this tool it's always nice if you can do it nice and neatly in straight lines. It does a much better presentation for your customer. Here I'm walking around with the tool in my hand and it's difficult to keep it straight. Normally what I'd like to do is actually put the tool on a cart and that gives me a little bit more control to try and keep this nice and neat. And try to be quite accurate where you place your man to indicate where the measurement is taken. The more accurate you can be, the better it is for your end results. So I'm now going to stop the survey. I'm going to give it a name and save it. I always like to check this box off. It just makes the screen a little bit cleaner. And now I'm going to come down and select display. Display then gives me the heat map that indicates where my signal strength was good. And I can see from this that as I come out of the room, my signal strength starts to drop off. And so the tool has captured that effect. Now, the more measurements I take, the more accurate this reading will be. What I'm looking for is where the edge of the cell is. So let's move that on the side here. And let's say we were doing a voice and looking for minus 67 or neg 67. You can start to see where the edge of the cell boundary is. And so locating my access point outside of this room is probably the best point for my very first access point. And then, of course, if I was doing a data plan, I could move it a little bit further away from that room, depending on my desired signal strength. Now here we were looking at the 2.4 gigahertz band. You would also, for a dual mode access point, have to consider the 5 gigahertz band. And of course, 5 gigahertz band attenuates more. So watch for that one. So let's now save our project. Yes, we keep the same name. 
And so we'll overwrite that. So I hope you enjoyed this demo. So you saw in the previous example that I put my access point in the corner of the room, use the ear magnet tool to create measurements as I walk around in order to determine the edge of the cell boundary and therefore the location of my first access point. At that point in time I move my access point to that next location and then I repeat the process. I walk around the building and again cannot stress enough the importance of going into each of the corners in order to get the most accurate results. Then that tells me when to place my next access point and I keep doing this and remember I'm collecting data on every access point. So I say this is the access point that I want to listen to and eventually I can make sure that I've got complete coverage and have walked the floor placing each access point as I go. Once I'm complete, I then merge my data together in order to get a snapshot picture of where I provided coverage. And of course, just like we did in the demo, I will set my minimum signal strength depending on whether I'm doing a data or a voice network. The Ear Magnet Survey. Well, as you've just seen, it's a tool that enables you to do passive surveys. It also enables you to do active surveys and also IPERF surveys. And as you've seen, as you walk around, it can collect information and that information can be used to help you plan out where you want to put your access points. It can be used to help you improve the accuracy of your predictive model and it also can be used to make sure that your network is ready for voice and location services. So you want to decide which tool you want to use. Um, remember the Air Magnet Survey Pro tool also comes with the planning tool and that planning can be quite useful when you're preparing to do your layer one site survey. Here we were using the Air Magnet Survey Pro to do a layer two site survey. We did two demonstrations. The first one was really getting you familiar with the Air Magnet Site Survey tool. After you've watched that one, you should be comfortable with the menu bar, the toolbar, what the legends mean, uh, where the map is brought in and displayed in the map window, the project window, and then the data window as well. And of course, all the navigation facilities. Really important to feel comfortable with the tool before you take it out onto a customer site and actually do a survey with it. We then went back to train signal and did our layer two site survey. And in this example, because it was an office environment and a rectangular shape, we started in the corner. Didn't matter which corner, I just took a corner that was fairly empty and quiet. And from that corner, I was able to work out where I placed my first access point. Of course, we can continue beyond that demonstration to work out where the next and then the one after that complete the entire site survey of train signal, placing all our access points in the best location. A typical site survey layer 2, you might get to place anywhere between 6 and 12 access points in a day. It's really not worth hurrying. You really want to take your time on it. Let the system stabilize, look at the measurements, because the RF environment is changing all the time. So you certainly something you don't want to rush. And getting it right the first time, as I say many, many times, doing the survey right the first time saves you so much time and effort later on.
So we looked at using the Air Magnet Survey tool. There are other tools out there. And as I've said so many times, the big advantage of this tool is you can take the results of that site survey and pull them into your Cisco network management tool called the Wireless Control System. And then you can use that information going forward for the deployment, for the installation, and keeping that information up to date and accurate as to where your access points are, what antennas you've used, etc. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I personally found it super fun just to be um, using this tool, looking at how to place the access points. We're getting so much closer in terms of finding our customer a good solution. Thank you for listening.